Hello, welcome to the Combat Collecting Quest. I am Josh, and that is Matt. Hey. And we're just uh, sitting here doing an early 4th of July celebration and showing off some books. <laughs> Matt, you want to go first? Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead. All right. I got a new setup here. So yes. Very nice. Let's see if this works. Uh, these are some cheap books that I picked up. Oh, yeah. Madam Xanadu, number one. Isn't there I, like a poster in there? Is there? I don't know. I can't uh, yes. Oh, wow. I, had yeah. not that. I hadn't flipped through it. I just remember that was like the whole deal with that book. They didn't have the poster. It was worthless. You know. Well, well, that, that has a... Uh, Became a personal item now. I'm, I'm hanging that up. <laughs> okay, next up. Oh, I got all these from the thrift store also. They were cheap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scud 20. Got you some Scud as well. Yeah, I mean, that's the only one, but they had a box of, I mean, that not, may have been the end of the series right there. Pretty close. I think with the 24, maybe. I can't remember. I see. Yeah. Uh, this is a, I think this came in a wizard. I'm not sure. Wow. It was advertising for their, uh, how to draw comics books. Like they were actual books and sure. the, the books are out of print and they're super hard to find valuable. I had one, but I, I've had a couple of them, but I sell them every time I get them real easy. And here's a good, uh, Rima jungle girl, Joe Kubert. Oh, whoa. Very cool. That's number three, uh, putting together a run of that. So I had to grab that. And it's actually in pretty decent condition for being a uh, thrift store comic. It's, uh, yeah. I, I actually, I, I think that Joe Kubert is probably my favorite artist. I love just about everything he does. I would agree. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a pretty good artist. Uh, Let's see. Next is Fem Force. I've got a whole bunch of Fem Force, and that's just one I didn't have, so I grabbed it. Uh, let's uh, see. I think you're Next freezing one. up there, buddy. No. Uh, you're. I don't know if I. Oh, there we go. Okay, you were just. You got a Fem Force. <laughs> Sorry. Still there breaking we, up. Okay, you're back. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, you yeah, that, that Fem Force is one uh, I needed for my run, so I grabbed that personal collection thing. Yeah, love it. Great. Uh, this is going to go into the trade box or sell something. I don't know. They sell for like 10, 15 bucks. It uh, has, like, pre has previews of some Marvel Razorline comics like Ecto Kid <laughs> and stupid stuff. Was that like the Clive Barker? Yes. Yeah, this is like the preview of all of the Clive Barker stuff. Am I breaking up still? No, nope, you're good. You're good okay. to go. Okay. Uh, the rest of this is <laughs> pretty sure the rest of it is Archie stuff. So, but I like Archie stuff. So, there's a good one. I'm wearing gorilla costumes there. That's great. Well, like I've said before, anytime they're in a bikini, I buy it. Or if it seems like it's an innuendo, like this one is uh, getting tickled by his mustache. <laughs> this uh, and that one's Dan DiCarlo. I like Dan DiCarlo a lot. Yeah, yeah, he's great. This is a, not like an early pep, but it was in it's in really good shape for one of these. So went and grabbed Silver. that. Silver. Uh, that's uh, yeah, I mean, it's 182, it's not like a uh, super high, but it's pretty good. Uh, let's see, Looks no. so <laughs> yeah, it's in pretty good shape. Most of these Archie ones were in pretty good shape, looked like they were red one, once or twice and put away. Uh, Josie and the Pussycats got a little bit of a glare here. I'll have to fix that for next time. Let's see if I can move this. There you go, that's yeah, that's great. Right. Not bad, and once again. Swimsuits, gotta buy it. Mm. I like this one because it's got UFOs and aliens on it. That is great. And that's another Silver Ager. Yeah. 
Yeah, most of them you run into are the bronze newsstand. A lot of them are newsstand stuff. And the Carlo covers. I, just, I can't I can't pass them up. I love that one. That one's a great cover. <laughs> yeah, happy ending. <laughs> Girls in bikinis. That's it. Uh, wait, no, I thought I had... Yes, I have two more, or three more. Three of the... The best ones of the bunch, actually. That's Afterlife with Archie, number one variant. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that one a lot. But that was a good pickup. So I'm gonna glare there. Uh, these Veronica issues are actually getting harder to find. This one is a pretty good seller. Yeah, that's but a great. It always moves. Well. So. And this was the best of the bunch. Holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> Number 28. That's the best out of the run. And uh, they were all at the thrift store. So snatched them up. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. I love that. I never find stuff at the thrift store. Well, I go all the time. So I'm not going to miss out. Yeah. All right. Well, I will pass it back over to you. That's all I had. All right, I'll uh, um, scratch my eye. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I I won uh, a lot of stuff at uh, an auction uh, this past weekend, and most of it was for my eBay store, but some of it I'm keeping. Um, I got a MST3K uh, Watch Out for Snakes Live Tour 2017 bag. And it came with um, postcards. Uh, when I was in college, I watched like every episode uh, of the show. Yeah, I've seen tons of it. I was obsessed with it, but there's one of my favorites, Puma Man. <laughs> I've seen that one. And uh, Danger Death Ray. Final Justice. I couldn't remember this one, so I rewatched it the other day. It had Joe Don Baker in it. Okay, yeah. But uh, it was not as good as uh, it was not as good as Mitchell. I, I that's why I didn't remember it. I like uh, Cave Dwellers. Yeah, yeah. That's the. Uh, I think that's where the Watch Out for Snakes comes from. <laughs> it's got Richard Keel in it. Yeah, Richard Keel is the yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And this one, I really like this one a lot. This has, uh, it's like, it was originally a show. It had like Timothy Van Patten and uh, Lee Van Cleef in it. <laughs> now, what did this bag and these postcards come, like, what, did you, could you only get them on a tour or something like you that? You can only get them on the tour. And, like, the person even, uh, it came with a... Uh, VIP. This was a MST. Oh, right. That's great. But the the show is from Minnesota. It was originally a Minnesota show for a long time. So there's a lot of fans up here. Got it. Final Sacrifice. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Oh, daddy -O, I love this one. Uh, they This was actually uh, John Williams' first uh, movie he ever did. And, uh, and the the, the uh, the hero wore his pants, wore his pants really high. So uh, Joel and them had a, a song that was super funny called Wear Your Pants Real High. And uh, there's the classic. Oh, man. man, man some that's, of the great. that's one of the best ones. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And I don't remember this one. It looks like a Mad Max ripoff. And then, uh, yeah, and that that's the last one. So. If I was to nitpick anything, I would have said uh, make a Mitchell uh, one instead of the uh, the uh, other, what was it, Texas or Final Justice. I would have rather had a Mitchell postcard. Right. But because uh, a Mitchell is, that's, that's. Yeah, that's, it's up there. It's one of the best ones. Oh, it's so good. And then uh, lastly, it came with a poster that I'm going oh, to. Very cool. 
Okay, and then just like uh, you last week, I got some Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, oh, nice. Auction as well. What's that, 179? Yeah. Yeah, these are worth quite a bit of money. Yeah, and that yours is newsstand also. Yeah, and they're not keys or anything. They're kind of they're pretty pretty rough on the edge though. It seems like most of them that I find are a little rough. Uh, I mean, it's not like the Hedgehog. It, it was probably kids buying it. I guarantee you these were bought probably at a grocery store by a little kid. Red right. one thrown in his closet, had stuff piled on it. And that's it. I only paid uh, five for the three of them, so I was happy with that. And then there was a uh, there was a bunch of books that I bought uh, once again for I nobody was bidding on anything in this auction, so I, I really uh, I, I did really well here. So I'm keeping this. Uh, nice. I know nothing about Robotech, but it'll go good in the science fiction. Um, Love science it. book collection. Nice. Love it. I've been running onto a bunch of uh, science fiction stuff here, but I have not been buying it. <laughs> You've already got a bunch in your garage, though, don't you? Yeah, I, I did buy a bunch of books this weekend, though. <laughs> oh, did you? Nice. Yeah, uh, let's actually, that's, yep. I, I have them sitting here beside me, but it's nothing super interesting. So these aren't science fiction, but it's Indiana Jones. I'm keeping it. Love Young it. Indiana Jones. I've I actually, never, I've never read any of those. What's that? I've never read any of those. I haven't either, but uh, I, I actually bought the lot specifically for those books. <clears throat> and these are like video game books, but still science fiction, so I'll still keep them. Right. I remember when this uh, Halo book came out, I had a friend that was nuts about them. So they were great books. Never read those either. He was uh, he was a pretty big Halo fan. So maybe 30, 40 years down the road, <laughs> I'll read them. Stack the pile high enough, you might get there someday. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. So these next ones I'm not keeping. They're for sale, but they're just so cool that I wanted to show them off. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Ugh. That's awesome. I haven't seen any of those around here local. They're a uh, sideshow. Right. The same uh, the same company that made, uh, made my Batman here made these. Yeah, those are cool. Where'd you get those at? An auction? auction. An auction up here. It was like an estate auction. And like I said, nobody was bidding on anything. Uh, I don't know. I guess nobody's got the money right now. Right. Oh my gosh. So yeah, pretty good deal on them. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, but they're worth uh, they're worth enough money that I'm gonna I'm going to sell those. And uh, I was at. Um, I was driving my wife around Sunday and I realized that I was close to a comic book store on like the other side of the twin cities. So I decided to stop by the comic book store and I had a budget in my mind of $25 um, to grab something. And I walked in there. Oh, I left the sticker on it. Anyway, I walked in there and immediately saw this and had to have it. Oh, very cool. It's uh it was only twenty dollars, and it's in really, really, really good shape. I would say it's like fine. Yeah, I mean, it, did they do they differentiate between newsstand and direct edition on those? I don't know. I, I really don't know. It was you know early. One complaint, and I never complain about art or anything like that because I am not an artist. I suck, and uh, I like Lynn. Ween, I guess is his name, Lynn Ween, Lynn Wine, a lot. And his uh, wife, uh, what was her name? Um, Glennis Ween did the coloring 
for this book. And uh, the coloring is not good. Oh, what yeah. The oh, cheating well. one. It's okay. You took a, a green ice cavern. <laughs> she had a particular eye. But uh, <clears throat> honestly, as soon as I opened this up, I was just like, oh my God. This is like quickly one of my favorite comics I own. I do like Marvel's uh, Star Wars run, but uh, yeah. So I don't have uh, one through five, I think it is. I don't have those, and they're super expensive. I can't believe I got this for 20 bucks. I actually it, looked through a, a, a guy at work brought some comics in for me to look through today, and he had a, a bunch of Star Wars and uh, didn't have any of the key issues or anything. He had a, the lowest issue he had was number three, and it was a reprint. So, was he? Uh, oh, he had three though? Oh, yeah, no. but it was a reprint. That Whitman, yeah. <laughs> Whitman, I think, sold like a five pack or something. A three the, pack or a five pack, something like yeah. that. Yeah. And yeah, a lot of people have those, and they think they're a lot of you know worth you know this is worth thousands of dollars. Well, actually, uh, the uh, issue number one, two, and three, uh, if you find them with the Whitman diamond, and also with uh, with a barcode, because normally the Whitman variants had Our that area blank. It was yeah. just a blank spot with no barcode. But Marvel messed up and packaged a whole bunch, not a whole bunch, but they packaged some of their newsstand copies with, I, or I guess it wouldn't be a mess up. I don't know how it is, but there are some Whitman with the diamond that also have a barcode. And there's also Whitman diamond with barcode and 35% Canadian price variant. Mm. Dude, those ones are super rare. And those are like 2K comics every day. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I. I didn't know that, and yeah, I've only seen. Well, I see the Whitman reprints all the time. Wait, anytime, anytime you see the okay, anytime you see the Whitman reprints, always remember that they were the cover price on those for the first four issues, or maybe it was the first five issues is thirty cents. On the sixth issue, they changed to thirty-five cents. But any of the first five issues, if you see it with a thirty-five cent price tag snatch it up it's a canadian price variant and they are all worth a little bit more the price it changed to, to 40 cent at once it was after five but the one through five are the ones you want to look for so i know that number one has a uh is it 35 cent price variant yeah that's, they, the, that's the canadian variant well what they did is is they because marvel has this whole thing of like 30 I think it's 35 cent price variants where they did them in like certain test markets in the U S mm -hmm. like I think San Antonio was one and maybe like, I, I'm not too sure, but uh, I know that uh, star Wars number one is a uh, price variant. I also, I grabbed some, I'm guilty of always grabbing new comics. I could have bought, you know, some dollar books, but I went, <laughs> it got some new comics. I bought these. I don't know. Those look I, good. I saw those at the store the other day, but not for me. Yeah. Look, I love this cover. That's a great cover. Um, Joshua Williamson, I think he's an okay writer. Uh, he did Batman for a very short time. Then I bought Feral number four. I've read Feral number one. Um, and liked it so, and then oh, that's uh, I might pick that up. Is that a variant or is that the standard cover? I think this, I think this is a variant because they had two covers there. Uh, I don't know where they because, like, I know, okay, what do we got here? the back i'm hurrying hurry hurry okay so cover this is cover d oh okay yeah i might grab that yeah i this was kind of a cover buy really 
Uh, I don't know. It might be a good story, but okay. So also at that auction, I bought this, and uh, yeah, this is amazing. Is it a hardback? It's a hardback. It's super, super nice. Very cool. When was it put out? Is that recent? I think, no, I think it was 83, I think. 83, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's great. I've been, uh, oops, I've been reading it uh, to my daughter because I'm, <laughs> I love them. She actually would rather, she doesn't, <laughs> she, she'd rather me read her Batman, uh, <laughs> but I feel like I have to read her Donald Duck. I don't know. Why. Well, and know. then uh, lastly, I just grabbed uh, some, some modern, uh, some modern books from my personal collection to show off because I've never shown before. I'll just go through them quickly. I like Nightwing a lot. Uh, yeah, it's a good series. I guess they're coming up on the end of the run. Thank you for that. I don't know why. And then, uh, you know, I told you the other day that I like detective comics and the storyline's pretty confusing right now. <laughs> Today I read one where they're kind of putting all, you know, tying up all the threads and it was uh i was like okay this makes a little bit more sense i really like this uh series a lot this is just kind of an adventure uh well obviously it's called saturday morning adventures but it's an adventure right. series so good really is that good. Just, it, i haven't been reading that is that just the original four yeah yeah all they're doing is it's like written for guys like us it's just all uh you know it's it's just the cartoon it's oh go ahead yeah i like that yeah yeah this was actually a really good story uh yeah i'll show you one more but... yes how many yeah. issues how many issues is that on they've already had like two volumes of it they're on like i think they're on issue maybe 13 but they had like I think they had four original. They had like a four issue run, and I think it sold well enough for them to do another uh, volume. Nice. Yeah, I like this Geiger. I've sold all my Geigers, but uh, I do. Did have you some. pick up an issue one when it came out? I got I got a lot of it, and I sold it all. <laughs> but I sold it all for you know profit. So. I held on to an issue a number one just because you never know. I think they're making a movie or something. That's why I sold all mine. Because are they? That, that makes sense. <clears throat> you know how that goes on, like uh, the comic collector app. Whenever they, you know, flash movie, you know, right? Yeah, people go crazy. People go crazy. So I sold all yeah. mine. And yeah, Amazing Spider-Man is it's not so good right now. <laughs> it's sad. Well, it's what it is. I know, but it's like, man, Spider-Man, it's like, how do you, ugh, it's, ugh, yeah. I don't know why Marvel, like, Marvel has, like, they have this Zeb Wells guy. Once again, I mean, it's not like I could write a better comic, but he's not good. It's like, it's like, all the, like, there are some really good writers out there, like that Philip Kennedy Johnson, he did The Alien. Uh, series you like that didn't you matt yes i did it was really good have him write spider-man oh uh, yeah yeah oh, that would be a good idea it was that alien was pretty exciting it was uh it was great yeah it shows that they can still do good comics i don't know why they don't i know i i actually quit reading alien after he uh left the series because i was just like man i don't see how anybody could top that are you reading uh the new ultimate spider-man or any of the ultimate line I am. I'm reading the new Ultimate Spider-Man. I'm actually not a big Jonathan Hickman fan, but yeah. I do like that um, Ultimate Spider-Man. So this Junkyard Joe, this is part of uh, the universe that uh, Geiger is in. Oh, it is. Okay. 
And this was really good, too. Yeah, and then this, here's this, uh, oh, I can't remember his name, uh, Dan Slot Spider-Man run. Oh, and here's the one that was the Spider-Boy first appearance that everybody went nuts over. And soon will be worth nothing. Yeah, well, this this one wasn't the variant that everybody was going for. Oh, is that the blood hunt thing? No, there was. A, it was like first Spider Boy, oh, and Spider okay. Boy's on the cover, and he's yeah. Therefore, like when it first came out, everybody was going nuts over it. Nightwing is really good. For how how much longer? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they got to mess it up eventually. Well, that Tom Taylor, the guy that's writing it, he's great. And then the artist left, but the artist came back. That, that artist was really good. They had, like, some of the best covers, I think. Okay, so this was... Okay, so I did read some of the Alien that wasn't by Philip Kennedy Johnson. Yeah. And it was it was okay. I haven't read that. Did you read the Wolverine Predator? <laughs> Universal Predator? No, not yet. It's pretty good. And this uh, this is a series that I've been been reading for a while now. Have you been, have you been keeping up with it? Okay. Yeah, I got number one there. I actually had almost well, I really would have had a complete set except for I didn't have five and eight, but then I ended up I ended up selling. <laughs> I need to quit selling my personal collection, but I do it all the time. I can't help it. Yeah, that's what it's for. Moving up, you got to pick up the stuff that makes it. Yeah, yeah. Like moving up, and then this is uh, like kind of like the volume two of the Last Ronin. This was okay. It wasn't as good as Last Ronin. I'm gonna pick that up soon and read it because I really enjoyed the Last Ronin. Oh yeah, Last Ronin was so good. More of it. So that one, he's like traveling. I can't. I think it's like, I think it's like the, uh, not the prelude, the prequel to it, where he's like traveling and training and stuff. Right. Joker series. It was good when Tinyan was writing it, and then he left, and then uh, this Rosenberg guy took over, and it was just, it was like grotesque almost. I don't know. I. <laughs> it was, yeah. I don't want to read about like a villain like doing terrible things. I don't know. And another reading about a villain doing terrible things. Right. I quit reading this too. The guy that writes uh, Detective Comics, I think his name is Rom V. Ram V. I think it's Rom. He uh, uh, he started that Carnage uh, series, and, and I liked it when he was doing it, but as soon as he left, it really went downhill pretty quickly. Uh, I like that. Yeah. yeah I got to pick those up. They're good. They're, I love them. I read two of them today. And then this wasn't that good. This was uh, this White Knight, uh, Batman White Knight series is really good. But then the Generation Joker was not written by him or art by him. So it wasn't that good. Uh, Dave Stewart, I think, is the guy's name that, that does it. And then, you know, I'm a big fan of Batman Adventures. So, Yeah, I passed up on some Batman Adventures today because they were just too beat up. Mm. I really like the early Batman Adventures that have the Bruce Timm covers. Those Bruce Timm covers are just amazing. Yeah, yeah. I need to get that that uh, that one that's uh, his first cover or whatever. That's that's the one. That's a big one that I want. So this was a good series, but I quit reading it also. But it was good. I have a bunch of it, but I, I haven't started reading it. It's it's good. It's like Walking Dead. Yeah, it's like Walking Dead. It's good. Post apocalyptic survival. Yeah, it seems like it's right up my alley. I just haven't picked it up yet yeah i like it a lot uh but i just quit reading it uh because uh because i i did i quit my job and started like being a stay-at-home dad and i didn't want to have a giant um you know giant comic book bill any well right 
<laughs> not as big as comic book feel. This uh, this is another one that I like, but I quit reading just because uh, I got to keep buying that Amazing Spider Man that sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to believe that I gave up this for Amazing Spider Man, but I technically did. And then uh, I did like Daredevil when Zdarsky was doing it. I actually thought that it was the best Marvel book. Uh, his run was the best, um, yeah, at the time. But uh, he also quit doing it for Batman, so I quit reading Daredevil as well. At least the covers are good on those. Yeah, they are good. Uh, that's John Romita Jr. Yes, yeah, those are great. I've actually been picking up uh, all the Superior Spider-Man because I never read that. I, are you talking about that one where it's like Doc Ock? Is Spider yeah. Yeah. I heard those are good. I've sold them. I think I still have some actually for sale. Yeah, that, I, I, I see them a lot, so it'd be easy to put it together. What's that? I see them a lot, so it should, it should be easy to put it together. Yeah. I, I hate on like Spider-Man so much, but like it's it's not that bad. It's just not like to me. It's what not far. It's with not what it, it's not what it used to be. No, and it's what it comes down to. Yeah, and I don't want to be like old man. You know, like back but, in my day. Back in my day, yeah, and, and then like like you'll read a Spider Man from the seventies, and it's like one of the best things you have ever read, and then you read this, and it's just it's. Ugh. Because even like Batman now, it's like at least they're like trying, you know, like Batman <laughs> could, and it's like at least, you know, they're like trying. But this, it's like they just know that I'm going to buy it and I'm going to buy it like four times a month or whatever. So they don't right. care. Yeah, they don't care. And this was OK. I bought this because this was part of that uh, something is killing the children universe. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of people read it. I didn't. I didn't pick it up. I think I quit reading it uh, just because I was like, yeah. Then more carnage, carnage, and then yep, and then finally, oh well, I've already showed this before, but Batman nine hundred. So, all right, that's all for me. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that was all my stuff. I didn't find any anything amazing this week, anyways. Yeah, my uh, my favorite pickup was uh, was definitely that this uh, Star Wars uh, Empire Strikes Back. I haven't read it yet. I was saving it for the show, and then I'll <clears throat> take it upstairs and give it a read. Yeah, my favorite was definitely of the things I got this week was the what's the guy here, the Wizard How to Draw. Just because yeah. I never I never run onto those. Mm -mm. I have I, I have one. There, I think there's three of them, and I have one of the other two yeah uh no I didn't. oh so i have heard people say that this is the first appearance of boba fett because this came out before star wars number 40 or whatever that is right um i don't know i, I mean is it it what are we considering a comic book nowadays you know i mean what i know this, this says Marvel Super Special Magazine is what this right. is. Right. That's a magazine. <laughs> yeah. So. I would disagree with that being the first appearance of Boba Fett. You're going to go with the um, Star Wars run? Yeah, I think that's definitely. Because that, I don't know, like movie adaptation, things like that, I really never consider those the first appearance. Because the there will usually be a comic afterwards that doesn't follow whatever happened, you know, in the movies. Yeah. So it's different canonically. Yep. Yep. So, all right. I guess yep. enjoy your fir fourth, sir. Oh, yeah. Got to get barbecuing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. Everybody enjoy the fourth and keep on collecting. Yes. Have a good one.